Before the adventure starts, Bumblebee needs to be loaded. Countless times going up and down, thinking of everything and packing the right amount. Without really having a plan, we started driving to Livorno. Besides booking the ferry and deciding roughly which area of Sardinia to visit, we would decide spontaneously where we wanted to go, how long we wanted to stay and just go with the flow. Our goal was to travel at our own pace and to really enjoy and experience the places, rather than rushing through and seeing as much as possible. After a long drive and a short night, we were off to the ferry that would take us to island life. So we are on the ferry to Sardinia, to Olbia, but then we realized that a lot of it is closed outside, probably due to the virus, so we decided to go to the reception and book a room for specifically for people with dogs. So that's where we are staying. something about going to an island that makes you feel like leaving everything behind and freeing yourself. Being out on the ocean was the first time we truly realized our adventure was beginning and we felt the first taste of freedom. And then, finally, we rolled onto Sardinian ground. Buongiorno Sardinia! Take it slow, don't be gentle, no, I just gotta know if you're gonna So, our first evening in Sardinia and we're gonna have what? Burger! Burger. Burger. Yes. Vegan we... burger. Exactly. Please sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> With a view. With a view. We just got up at 7 a.m. and we are ready to jump in the water. We are alone so far. Let's see. Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago. We love to take a morning dip in the sea and we truly miss that. It felt so peaceful to be swimming there, just us and nature, before we started our day. Those are the moments we are so grateful to travel with the van. We get to experience those places in a way we wouldn't be able to otherwise. This is definitely a morning routine we could get used to. Later that day, we paddled to a tiny island nearby that a local recommended us. He said that Napoleon Bonaparte once slept there during the war. The island even has a sculpture of him, made by a local Picasso admirer. Although it was quite windy, we enjoyed the wonderful underwater world and felt like on our own tiny island. On the way back, we had to fight against the strong wind which definitely challenged us and was quite a workout. At some point, we were even starting to be afraid that we wouldn't get back because of the current. Well, at least I was, as you can see. 
Let's go back a ways to the old bygone days and the simple time we lived back when. Luckily, we made it back safely and enjoyed the rest of the day in our spot. The old dirt road. Good morning. So, morning walk with the king. Yeah, it's 7 a.m. and we need to get up because today we're gonna drive to uh, Madalena Island that we wanted to go yesterday, but the place where we have been is so cool and we are so happy with it that we didn't want to rush anything so we stayed one night more yeah, but today we will go to to the island for sure this place is so peaceful it's a bit windy but in general, it suits us for sure. <laughs> so we're gonna have breakfast now. Maybe a morning swim at eight, and then we're gonna start to drive. Our day cannot start without breakfast. After a swim, we love to sit by our table, enjoying a cup of coffee with the sun in our face and the sound of the sea. The good life! The ferry to La Madalena Island cost us around 30 euros one way and 10 minutes later we arrived. Do you know the saying, difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations? Well, in this case, it was even better. We are in paradise. The view that we have here is really, really, really beautiful. Sometimes you find a place that seems too beautiful to be true. Where you feel like you're in a fairy tale and you have everything you need. You could literally stay forever. La Madalena was such a place for us. In the middle of nature, next to crystal clear water and pretty much by ourselves. To be honest, this was our favorite van life spot to date. And this is the reason why we even do van life. Having places like this one as our backyard is just our ultimate feeling of happiness.
our view. Today is a bit cloudy, unfortunately. In the morning was less, but now there is no one here beside us, that boat, and I guess another camper van up on the hill. Gonna make the lunch and then probably we gonna hike a bit. One or two hours hiking is gonna be worth it. Right? One or two hours? Yes. You don't want? Well, probably after I had lunch, I'm gonna be <laughs> full with energy. <laughs> and with food. <laughs> It was so much fun exploring our surroundings. Making our way through the bushes, climbing on rocks and overlooking the area, finding little bays around every corner. We were all by ourselves. This was so peaceful. At the end of this grey day, the sun suddenly appeared and nature gifted us with a sunset and a rainbow at the same time. What a special way to end the day in paradise. We want to thank you so much for taking time to watch our video. If you enjoyed it, it would mean a lot to us if you gave us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Like this, you would truly support us.